Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry, and welcome to 2023. I know it's already February, and I've just been trying to catch up from December and all of January, but I'm finally doing a video for you, and I know it's not the holiday season, but I'm gonna show you how I organize my holiday gift wrap. Uh, it's been sitting here actually for a month waiting for me to film it, so it's gonna be happy once I'm finally done filming and I can put it back into my garage. But I've had this system for probably a decade, maybe even 15 years, I can't even remember anymore. Um, pretty much the same um, container that I use because I only take it out during the holidays and then I put it right back. All right, so this is a red with green trim um, gift wrap box or container that I believe I got from the container store a long time ago. They do sell it on Amazon year round, so I'll put links to both, uh, definitely for the Amazon and if it's, there's still a link for the container store, but you usually get it around uh, Christmas time when if you go to the container store. And then what I've done is I've just used my label maker to put here Christmas wrappers, gift bags, tags, and ribbon. Now the reason I have a separate container just for holiday and gift wrap, because during that uh, season, you know, there's a lot of wrapping going on. And then the rest of the time, I don't need any of this. And so I have a separate gift wrap station that I'll show you in another video for stuff like weddings and birthdays and baby showers. If you have the space to have a separate container just for holiday gift wrap, I say go ahead. It's going to help you be more organized because you know you just take this out during that time of the year. When you're done, you put it away versus all the gift wrap all, all together in one space. But if you don't have the space, then it's fine to put it together. So I haven't replenished this, I honestly, in like seven years. And uh, um, I just had gone to Costco and filled it all up because they have great prices. And um, a lot of my, or I shouldn't say a lot, but my, I have like five nephews and they're all pretty, and my kids, they're all pretty much out of high school, they're in college, they're already adults. So the last few years, they've just been loving cash or gift cards. So I haven't used a lot of gift wrap, but there's a season when a lot of the um, people you buy gifts for, you know, they're actual like physical gifts like that that need wrapping versus a gift card or uh, maybe even smaller items. So there's a time where I was going through gift wrap um, a lot, but it still took several years because not, you know, we were not getting big, uh, gifts or stuff like that. And so anyway, I say that because the best time to replenish and you all know this, but you got to do it is after the holidays. So something like this, I had just gone to um, um, the container store because I love their gift wrap and I was checking it out before Christmas and I knew I wanted to come back and try to catch the sale. So things like this, I think was like $2.49 versus the nine ninety nine. Now, of course, you can shop for gift wrap uh, wherever you think is the best for you, whatever you like or the best deal, it's up to you. But I'm just saying that I love their gift wrap, so I went ahead and got those. So I'm just going to show you what I have. Look how cute these things are. And so I've basically stocked up. I'm probably stocked up for a few years. Okay, so yeah, you can see the price here, $9.99. I think this was $2.49 or whatever that it was, 75% off. Look at that. And I just, I like the vintage kind of look for it. Okay, and then you can also stock up on, let's say gift bags. So this was a gift bag set from them. And so just like anything in a container, you kind of play uh, Tetris. And I've had these boxes for years. I used to get clothes, give clothes to um, the people who receive gifts from me. So I just kind of have them. They give these to you for free. Sometimes you can say, hey, can I have an extra one? And they will totally give it to you. Now, as far as Christmas cards, um, I did look. I was a little bit late. Like I said, I've been like trying to catch up. I think I went like the third uh, week of January, first, second, third week. I forgot what it was. It doesn't really matter, but I definitely need new Christmas cards. So that's another thing you want to look for is the box Christmas cards. They're definitely a better price when it's together or you can get them um, separately. So anyway, I have this and I think I only have two left. So I wish I would have been able to replenish more. And this one is just a, a fun uh, gift bag that I think was used for a gift to give to me. And I like to keep it kind of like a container to contain things in here until I really feel like 
I want to give that gift bag away. And so the other thing I have is this um, gift wrap cutter where you take uh, the roll, you know, and it when you open it up, I'm not going to open it up because all of these are closed. And then it just, here's the blade. See the blade right there? And then you just skim it through and uh you know there's some bad reviews there's some great reviews i personally it has worked for me um i have one i got this i think on amazon there's it comes in a pair so there's this one the green and then the black one i keep with my other wraps uh gift, gift wrap in my other gift wrap station uh like i said i'll show you that in another video okay then the other thing i have here are these containers from the Dollar Tree. So originally I had the ribbon just kind of around or in like little smaller boxes, but I thought, you know what, let me get a clear container, not expensive. You know, these are $1.25 now, instead of a dollar, right? And they're not the best container, honestly, um, but they close enough. And since I'm not accessing it daily or even weekly, it's just that time of the year, I thought, you know, these would be sufficient. They close enough, but if it was like every day, I'd probably get a different container. And so look how perfectly the um, four rolls of ribbon fit in there. Okay. And the other thing you can do is that, you know, once you replenish after the holidays, you can really go with a color theme if you want to do that. So here's another uh, container. And this is for the, this I'm loving. So there's, you know, there's like a time in my life where I loved wrapping with these ribbons that you tie around and all that stuff but you know what now i just like these where you take off the the part in the back you know and you just stick it on top just simplifying my life as much as possible so here i have a red and then kind of a i don't know what kind of green that is so i did want to buy a few more but for now that would be sufficient and look how nice it just as you can see, it fits so nicely here in this container. All right, let's move over to this side. So what you can see here um, is that there is a divider and it goes on with Velcro, if you can hear that. And there's Velcro over here. Okay, and then here on the side, there's just kind of like a little pocket with a little Velcro right here. And what I do is um, I bought this a long time ago, a set of three scissors just very regular scissors okay they're not the best scissors but they're kind of like a holiday theme there are three of them uh, i believe from michael's so i just keep one in here although i have two in my other gift wrap station and then i just have a couple different types of tape and so at the end of the season i just look here like do i need to replenish the tape and then so i will okay and then here you saw that these four containers fit oops they fit onto here or into this space it's just absolutely perfect also from the dollar tree and again these are not the best containers okay um but they work right like i said i don't need to open them every day um some click some do not but you know buyer beware and then here are where i keep gift tags and I decided like these don't have to be labeled because I could just look inside so I can go through the, whatever gift tags I want. And then it just closes up like that. And then this one um, also has more gift tags. These are, I kind of separate separated them. Just these are more like for kids. You can see that. See how cute. I mean, I got this from Costco. This has lasted forever. I'm telling you, it's over a decade. And then these were more, same thing from Costco. Had them forever. But I mean, I go through, they're just a lot, okay? And uh, these are more kind of like vintage. Look at this guy with his uh, ugly cute sweater and his martini and a mistletoe cheese ball. Okay, and so it wasn't, I wasn't very, I'm not very particular as far as how these will stack up in there, but I do know like these jewelry boxes Again, they fit perfectly in here. These I got also from the Dollar Tree. I think there's like um, three boxes. So here's the other one over here, you know, for like jewelry. So red and white, I think three for $1.25. That works great. So 
hope that fits in there. And then these are just more gift tags. Uh, I believe I got this from like Marshalls or Home Goods, and then some more um, gift tags. And you can see this theme is more of like the white, the silver, the gold. Okay, look how nice that is. All right, then over here on the part that the flap, there are more, there are two sections here that are clear, but it has this that closes with Velcro. And so what I've decided to put here are the large gift bags that I can kind of fold. So again, I have just a couple of these, especially when my kids were younger or my nephews were younger, I used a lot of that, this. And so sometimes your organization changes because uh, the need changes, right? I do still have three young nieces, so sometimes I give big gifts, we'll see. And then these are also from the container store. I think they were like $1.49. They're basically extra large gift bags. So I got five colors, green, gold, oh no, not five, four, green, gold, silver, and red. And then you can see here another large gift bag. Okay, and on this side, and they're both the same size, these pockets, and they both have Velcro. Here's where I put um, tissue paper, okay? So I used to wrap a lot also with gift bags, and I had a lot of different tissue paper. These, are, I think, are from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, and then these I've just had, trying to use them up. And these are the two, you know, the third box in that set that I showed you. Okay, and then these are just a bunch of gift bags. So I thought like um, it would be good to have the gift bags here because it's kind of contained within there. And so just, just small different size gift bags and even some gift bags for wine. And of course I reuse gift bags. So this is probably one that was given to us with a nice gift in it. Okay, and then so when you're done wrapping gifts, it's so easy just to put the stuff that you haven't used back into this type of container where it has, you know, basically designated pockets, right? And it just, you just kind of move it around to see what configuration you like. And then I close it up there. And so it's nice and neat. Then back here for this particular year, as far as what I've stocked or not stocked, I'm going to put the large um, gift bags here. And these are the, you know, larger ones. They actually even have ones for bikes. So if you don't, they don't have it at the store that you normally go to, or it's obviously past the season, go on Amazon and look for gift bags that fit the particular item that you're trying to give as a gift. And then over here, this is where I'm going to put the boxes for clothing first and then i have this a gift bag set i decided to just go ahead and keep it in its original um container where how it was sold and um as opposed to taking them out and putting them there with the other gift bags all right then i'm gonna put away the ribbon and the ribbon and so you see like this has a lot more space to put more ribbons in there then I'm just gonna put away the um, gift wrap that I got on sale. Fantastic. All right. So I think I just kind of put like the pinkish reds at the bottom and then the greens on top. So even within the, the way you're organizing it, you can organize it by color or even type like see the, this is shorter than the other ones i wish it was the same size but anyway you could do like the longer ones at the bottom the shorter ones on top whatever works for your mind okay and then the christmas cards will go there and you can see that i have space for one more box but i was not able to get that and so here i get this and then you can also fit in here like um you know like those um I call it stuffing. You know where you have the little shreds of paper? All right.
it's all organized and ready to go for next season. So get your holiday gift wrap organized so that when it's time, you just pull this out and you are good to go. Let me know in the comments below what you do with your holiday gift wrap and I will see you in the next one. Bye.